How y'all doing out there on YouTube world? This is Rugby. And if you like the content, like, share, subscribe, tell some friends. I'm trying to get these numbers up, man. Help a brother out, you know. I'm trying to do the funnies too, you know what I'm saying? Check out my comedy page, man. My comedy is all over the place. You know, I got a little serious growing up comedy, you know, philosophical comedy and things like that. Come check me out. You know what I'm saying? Guarantee, you know what I'm saying? I'll hit that funny bone, man. Come check your man's out. Now check it out. It's another rendition of Game Fights. Okay? Now one time, these niggas surround me, right? I'm in front of my neighborhood, Bed Rock, Apartments, 1204, Marcel Lane, stand up. I'm in front of my partner, these niggas surround me. Now, niggas surround me because, you know, my cousin had just been jumped on and shit like that. I'm trying to find my cousin and shit. And uh, so I run down, you know, in the middle of the projects, go try to find my cousin. These niggas, out of nowhere, they just surround me, right? Hell of niggas. About five niggas surround me, but it's a couple of niggas on the side. It's about seven, eight niggas and shit, but only like five of them surround me and shit, right? And uh, I'm looking for my cousin, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm like, man, I tell one one cat, man, this one cat was cool. And I'm like, nigga, what's happening? What, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? Where my, where, where my cousin at? Now they surround me. I'm in the middle of the circle and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all fucking around? What's going on? Because somebody that came and told me that my cousin got jumped. That's what it, made me run out the house and run to the middle of the projects and shit. And, uh, and so I'm like, you know what I'm saying, what's happening? You know, I'm like distraught, you know what I'm saying? Wondering what the fuck going on, these niggas around me. I see one of my homeboys, that used to be my homeboy, he's with, the, with these niggas, but he's across the street, he ain't one of the five surrounding me, but he with these niggas, right? I'm tripping off the whole scene, right? Everything's fucked off. Right? What's going on? So I asked the one nigga, I thought we was cool. You know, I, uh, a nigga said, man, it ain't up to me. You know what I'm saying? That's a G call. So I said, a G call. Now, it was the leader of the click there. He was there. We just gonna call this nigga Snoopy. Cause this big head, Snoopy dog looking ass nigga. We just gonna call this nigga Snoopy, right? And uh, so Snoopy was a lot older than me. You know, he was the shot caller they click, you know. And he was a lot older than me. I'm about 30, 35. I was like 18, 19 and shit. So, like, why is this old nigga fucking with us and shit like that? But Snoopy was hollering some shit that, you know, right before he went to prison, because he had just got out of prison looking for us, and looking for me and my cousin, to, or just looking for my cousin to do something to my cousin and shit, right? And I'm like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? You tripping, you know, to the Snoopy dude. I'm like, we squashed our shit, because I seen a nigga before. He went to prison, we drew around on the nigga. He squashed everything, because we had a Uzi up to his head, had a 44 mag up to his head, and a 25, a little 25 pistol up to his head. You know, in broad daylight one day, we was going to do something to this nigga, man, behind some bullshit. And that story's a little long. Y'all going to have to get the book to, to get get all that story. But, yeah, I'm writing the book, too. So, you know, and uh, I said, nigga, I thought we squashed this shit. So I'm talking to the, to, to the OG, right? Cause in, in like like this one nigga said it's a G car. I don't know what the fuck is a G car, nigga. What the fuck is a G car? You know what I'm saying? And uh, I guess it was, you know, the OG. You know, he made a call. You know, what I'm saying like we gonna smash these niggas, even though the nigga was my friend and shit. I mean, not the nigga that called the G call. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga who I was talking to, we was friends and shit. I thought. And uh, so I'm tripping, right? And I see one of my little homeboys over there, he's, he's with these niggas too. I'm like, wow. You know what I'm saying? One thing about my clique, we had a clique called an eight ball mob. And we broke up. You know what I'm saying? Some of us Crips, some of us blood, some of us was, and we just broke up, eight ball mob. We wasn't no color. You know what I'm saying? Raider Nation all day long, you know? But, uh, but everybody broke off. So this cat, he broke off with the Crips, and I kind of broke off with the Bloods a little bit. Wasn't really bleeding though, you know? And uh, so I'm like, nigga, what's happening? Nigga, let's me and you fight one on one. So I'm telling the leader, man, this nigga's huge. Nigga just fresh got out the penitentiary. They ain't been out the penitentiary a week. Nigga huge, swole as fuck. 
back in the 80s and 90s. You know niggas was swole as fuck, tattoos everywhere. This nigga's a big scary looking ass nigga, big head and everything, right? You know, he had to be at least about 5'10". I was about 5'7", 5, 5'6", 5, 5, 5'7", but it, it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, fair strains to warriors, you feel me? And uh, so I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Let's me and you get him up and shit like that. And the nigga stole on me. Bow! Right? When he stole on me, this the leader. This nigga stole on This must my nigga stole on Bow! You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm in the middle of these crowd of niggas. Right? And uh, it didn't phase me. You know, I didn't bleed or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It kind of surprised me more than anything because he just stole on me out the blue right in the middle of we talking. I'm like, oh shit, I see what's up, nigga. Y'all niggas want to jump me. Let's me and you do go one-on-one -on -one after nigga stole on me and shit like that. Like, ain't nobody going to jump in and nigga stole on me again. Bye. Stole on me twice, right? Now I ain't bleeding. I ain't feeling nothing. I'm like, this nigga's huge. So I'm like, tripping. like, this nigga is weak as fuck, right? Or just, I'm, you know, my chin is strong. I'm thinking all this old shit as these niggas talking to me. You know, my mind, they talking to me. My mind is somewhere else. My mind is like in a bubble and shit. So I'm like... Nervous, don't know what the fuck to do, don't know, you know what I'm saying, this gonna jump me, they gonna stab me, they gonna shoot me, what, right? So I said, nigga, nigga, let's me and you walk down, walk, uh, walk down the street, and let's do this motherfucking one-on-one -on -one thing, let me get this head up, nigga. You know what I'm saying, tell you niggas to stay back, nigga, if you really all that, nigga, go one-on-one -on -one with a nigga, right? So we told the niggas to stay back, right? So when the niggas stay back, right? Go down the motherfucking street, and uh, just like I do, boop, back. Boop, 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 boop. Bing, dumped the nigga on his head. Come up with this nigga, man. And uh, I'm on him, thrilling him and shit. And so, as soon as I dumped the nigga on his head, you know what I'm saying, I get on him, his homeboys ran down there and got on me. And at that time, my homegirl came out with a 12 gauge pistol, started shooting at these niggas, got these niggas up off me, man. And there's a flip tide to that story, man. I don't know if I'll let y'all know the rest of it, man, but you might have to get the book to check the rest of it out. But yeah, man. That was my story about the G call. I didn't know what the fuck the G call was. And I guess that's what it was. Rock B, three on the motherfucking tree. Holla at me. This is Game Fights.